Welcome to this snippet of the new Sigma 4 interface. Although functionality will remain the same, the Sigma 4 user interface has several improvements. Follow along to see what it will soon look like to complete an evaluation transaction. The EV is used in Sigma to evaluate solicitation responses based on the information populated in the solicitation. Once you're logged into Sigma 4, select the Procurement Business role. This business role will provide a tailored homepage fit with quick links, widgets, and navigational options that all align with the work common to a procurement professional. Once the solicitation closes, navigate to the transaction. To do this, enter the solicitation type into the search bar. For this demo, I'll use the Request for Proposals, or RFP, as an example. You can use additional search criteria using the fields provided to help drill down the results received. Click on the transaction ID of the record that you would like to open. To review the solicitation responses, you can find all related transactions in the procurement folder. First, navigate to the header tab of the transaction, then click the three-dot menu to the right of the Attachments button. Choose Procurement Folder from the Related Pages column. Click the three-dot menu on the line. Then click View to open the folder. Within the Transactions tab, you will find a list of transactions related to this procurement process. Verify that all are in final phase before creating the EV. Once the transaction is closed and you've had a chance to review the responses, you can copy forward. Within the Request for Proposal transaction, copy forward to an evaluation transaction by clicking the three dot menu in the top right corner of the screen. After clicking the three dots, you'll see Copy Forward in the Primary Actions column. Click that. On the Copy Forward page, you will select EV from the grid. Then insert your transaction department, the transaction unit, and then check off auto numbering instead of a transaction ID. Then click OK. As with all transactions, notice the information in the top left corner of the screen. You'll see department, unit, and transaction ID listed. And unique to an evaluation transaction, you'll also see the version number, indicating version 1 or version 2. In version 1, it'll be a time for you to get all of your notes and other comments down. On the header tab of the transaction, click the three dot menu and select Load Responses. This will update the transaction with any and all responses that were submitted prior to the close date and time. After the responses have been loaded from the header tab, you may notice that the Load Statistics tab is now updated. On the Load Statistics Details tab, you will find detailed information about the responses. This includes the method of which each bid was entered. For example, Notice that Tasmania submitted its response via vendor self-service, while the premises systems was submitted via mail and therefore entered by the buyer. Both methods are acceptable, but in some cases, the method may need to be identified. You can split the award among multiple vendors by using the Award by Line tab. Otherwise, more commonly used is the Award by Total tab. On the Award by Total tab, check the box next to the name of the vendor which you'd like to award. Then toggle to the Evaluator Comments tab where you'll click the Insert icon to enter a new comment for that vendor. After entering a comment to acknowledge the response, click Save, then toggle back to the Award by Total tab to repeat this process for any additional vendors. Once any and all comments have been added to the vendor lines, Return to the Award by Total tab. For the vendor or vendors that you do plan to award, toggle the Resolicit option to Yes. Then you can validate and submit this transaction. Review and then make corrections for any informational or error messages that appear after you validate. After submitting, click Close and you've completed the first part of an evaluation transaction. 
Watch part two to learn how to take this evaluation transaction into version two and continue the procurement process. For more information about the Sigma 4 upgrade, visit Sigma 4 upgrade on SharePoint. To find the page, navigate to the State Budget Office site, then using the SBO Agency's dropdown, select Sigma. There you'll find Sigma 4 upgrade.